Okay, so yesterday I took these new recipe uh, baits out for testing these new jelly baits. You'll see the video of that shortly, and also I'm going out later today to do some more testing, and I'll add that on to the end as well. But the two recipes I was doing was this one, which was a creole flavour, is just water and gelatin and flavouring. There is no glycerine in that. Um, it actually performed the best of the two recipes. Um, you have to leave it to dry for a couple of days, at least two days drying, uh, preferably three, and then that holds the hook really well. Uh, I did some jigging with that, and that really held onto the hook. It doesn't look as nice, and it's not as flexible as the one with this rain, as you'll see shortly. And it's a bit sticky. Um, so I probably wouldn't have this out in the sunshine in a hot car, because it might melt. But um, it's, it's done okay so far. So that's the one with glycerine. You'll see the video of that in action shortly. This is one for glycerine, and it's a sardine flavour. As you can see, it's a lot more flexible, but it doesn't hold onto the hook as well. Again, this has been left to dry for three days, like the other one. So it's a lot more moist and a lot more rubbery and a lot more flexible. But the hook goes through this quite quite a lot. I think, from my experience of the other recipes I was doing that I did earlier, longer they stay resting and drying, the better they become. So it might be that in a week or two these will become a lot stronger. But they don't hold the hook as well. Especially with regards to jigging, when you're jigging it around a lot, it does tend to come off quite easily. Um, so I think I'll stick with this one. It doesn't look as nice, but I'll take it out again today to get more testing done, and then we'll uh, talk about the recipe and I'll show you how to make them. But that one's very simple. It's just two tablespoons of commercial grade. Um, gelatine and water, one cup of water. This one was made with two tablespoons of commercial grade gelatine, one tablespoon of glycerine and half a cup of water. So it looks like the glycerine actually makes it a little bit more flexible. It helps the gel to hold the water better. It does give a much nicer appearance but it doesn't hold onto the hook. And if you're fishing, you want it to hold onto the hook. Both of them did dissolve in water. Um, so it's spreading around that, that smell and that taste of, in this case, shrimp. And in this case, it's sardine. But we'll make up some more. I'm going to increase the, uh, the flavouring. That's got half a teaspoon of flavouring. I mean, it does smell of shrimp or krill, but I think I'm going to increase that to one teaspoon instead of a half a teaspoon um, to give it a bit more oomph, a bit more flavouring. And of course, these are just cut from a block, so I can make it any shape or any size block as I like. But because these held up so, so well on a jigging hook, I'm also going to make some uh, of these using the a Senko worm or the paddle tail mould that I've got. But let's get on with the video so you can actually see these in action. Okay, so we're back out on the US today and we're going to be testing this new recipe. I've got two recipes I'm testing. Um, both made slightly differently. This is a sardine flavour with red dye and this has a glycerine ingredient as well it's four days old it's firmed up quite nicely I think you have to leave these about two to three days to dry out to keep it on the hook long enough I've tested it out a couple of times on the usk and these will hold the, the, uh, the hook for about 40 to 50 minutes so a good amount of time before it becomes so weak it may fly off the hook but it can last longer this one is shrimp flavour it's got no glycerine in 
and one thing I've noticed with this is that it does dry up quite a lot around the edges and it's a little bit stickier so this obviously holds in moisture much better having a glycerine in this one I've tested as well a couple of times this also holds onto a hook just as well as this and this is krill flavour or shrimp flavour I've not put any colour in it because krill and shrimp are fairly transparent but this is definitely stickier if you don't have the glycerin in again this is about 3-4 days old and I think you have to leave it 3 or 4 days for just to dry out enough to hold the hook this is what I'm fishing with at the moment I've got two of these on the hook um, I haven't put it in the mould I've just uh, poured all of the uh, mixture into a two pound loaf tin waited for it to set then cut it into strips so it's much more like fish bites and fish gum that you get in the US in, the, in America I don't know if those are available in the UK yet but it's just simple strips coloured and flavoured so we'll give those a try uh, and see how it turns out but definitely after you pour them leave them a couple of days to dry uh, and then or dehydrate and then them usable on the hook the recipe for these the, uh, the sardine one is using the commercial 240 bloom gelatine it's two tablespoon of gelatine to a half cup of water the sardine flavoring is half a teaspoon and the red colouring is just a dash and in that one I also put in one tablespoon of glycerine in the shrimp one which is a bit stickier that's just two tablespoons of blue um, of gelatine again 240 bloom commercial grade half a cup of water and half a teaspoon of krill flavoring and that's it no gelatine no colouring so we'll see how it goes I've got the um, shrimp one on the hook at the moment as I said I've taken these out a couple of times just to test it on the hook and in the water and they'll last about 40 minutes on the hook without a problem so let's see what we can get Okay, it's just under 20 minutes, but I'm going to bring it in now anyway uh, to change over the rig to jig and rig. We've just hit the slack water at high tide, and I think that's going to be a good time to do some jigging. So let's bring this one in. It's been just under an hour, uh, and we'll see how those baits are looking. Yeah, they're still looking good on the hook. There has been some of it has been dissolved, as you would expect. But uh, let's change this over to the jigging and try sardine on the jig.
Right, so this shrimp seems to be holding out much better, the mixture without the gelatin, um, glycerine in, um, on the hook for jigging. I mean, as you can see, it's, it's, uh, it's beginning to dissolve away as you would expect. It's been through at least a dozen casts now. But I'm going to carry on with this one for a while until it sort of falls off the hook. We're going to knock off the filming now, otherwise it's going to be a bit boring. Um, one of the things I think I will do is to up the flavouring. That's got half a teaspoon of krill additive in. I might up it next time I make a batch to uh, probably a teaspoon. Double it up and see what happens. But uh, basically it's staying on hook really well. Dissolving away really quite nicely. And the one with egg glycerin, so just gelatine, is holding out really well. So let's carry on. Okay, so we're at day two of our testing. Uh, yesterday it was very clear that the, uh, the gelatine only baits were working really well and the one with the gelatine wasn't quite so good. So we're coming out again today to test day two. Uh, again in the Usk, it's nice, bright, and sunny. It's a bit of a chill of a wind blowing, but it's not too bad. Uh, and we'll we're here about an hour before high tide so we're going to do a test for about three hours today and see which one performs best i expect it to be the same as yesterday where the uh the krill uh, gelatine only baits will work better that's what i got out on the moment so let's see what happens
Okay, so we've done two days of testing on two types of recipes. Both recipes were basically the same, except that uh, one of them had a tablespoon of glycerine in the recipe and the other one didn't. Clear winner, the one without the glycerine um, was much better on the hook. It dissolved nicer, giving that cloud of scent and taste for the fish. Um, so I think that's the uh, recipe we'll be going for. Uh, I think the issue with the glycerine is that glycerine is a moisturiser. It's used in moisturisers and makeup to keep in um, moisture. So it, the law or the bait doesn't dry out so much. And that means that the hook has a habit of coming through the jelly. It's just like a normal jelly. Um, whereas the one with glycerine was much more drier, much tougher. This is after been drying out for five days both base dried out for five days the one with glycerine looked nicer and felt nicer but didn't hold the hook the one without glycerine was a little bit sticky which i wasn't worried too, too much about because once it goes into the water that stickiness dispersed giving out a cloud of flavoring uh, and it was dried around the edges which again not too worried about once it goes in the water it starts to rehydrate so much better hook, uh, hookability on that bait. Now, I didn't mould them. I am going to mould it without the gelatin, see how that moulds. I oh, sorry, without this three, see how that moulds. But all I did that, that time was, on both, I just let it set in a two pound uh, loaf tin and then sliced it up. So it looked a bit like um, fish baits or fish gum that you get in the United States, just plain simple strips. Now there's a guy on YouTube who also does this type of glycerine, uh, so gelatine type of jelly baits, uh, and he just sets them in ice cube or cubes formed, uh, and then he just breaks it off and uses it as tearing up. I'll put that link below so you can watch what he does, um, but I just sl sliced them up into 12 sl strips of gelatine bait so the only thing that I'm going to look at now now that I've got the recipe that I want to use is to increase the flavouring additive uh, to try and give it a much stronger flavour uh, so I'm going to double that up from a half teaspoon per cup of or half cup of liquid to one teaspoon uh, and then see if that's going to give a much better, much better smell and much better taste for the fish. But we're getting there bit by bit, step by step. Let's get some more of these made and get some more tested. But it's looking good. If you want to follow on as to how we develop these uh, homemade gelatine baits, subscribe, like and share. So thank you for watching. And if you make fishing later, good luck.